Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, September 17th of 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacor, and this is being pre-recorded to the U.S. session open. All right, in front of us, we have uh, the NASDAQ on a daily candlestick chart. And just, I'm going to, we're going to be looking at where we are in comparison to the all-time highs for uh, for each of the uh, major indices. So in the NASDAQ, uh, today we have opened with a gap up, okay? That's momentum build up to the upside, okay? Uh, also, very soon, as I see, we most likely be having a crossing of the moving averages, okay? So that'll be another indication of a momentum to the upside. So. Uh, our resistance for today is going to be right around 20,000, right right below 20,000, just shy of, of 20,000, but around 20,000, psychological round number uh, for it. Uh, from here, obviously, will with the market come back and revisit that high created back in July 11th, July 11th? So this is, this is the all-time high for uh, the NASDAQ. So we basically, if you do the math, uh, we will be uh, basically 1,200 points so far right now away uh, from that 20,982, and we are 19,786. So that's why I say 1,200 points. Uh, so actually, you know, if we do, yeah, it's about 1,200 points, right? Uh, to the upside. So initially, if we do happen to reach that high, or that resistance, then you know we, we probably do some sort of a consolidation, a throwback, and perhaps continuation to the upside. And that's on the NASDAQ. Okay, now let's take a look at the S&P 500. So the, for the S&P 500, we are actually closer to that all-time high, uh, which was you know, basically July 17th. 16th, uh, it was 5,720 points, and we are 5,661 points. So we are basically right around what, 60 points. So that's 60 to 65 points um, around there. Okay, so that's very that's very feasible. So again, uh, in this, oh, let's take a look. Let's go back to the NASDAQ for a moment. Sorry about this. Let's go down into the half an hour session after looking at the at that those levels right and so what we're seeing on a half hour chart we see this big gap now will they come down close that gap okay that's something that you know, that could happen so you want to keep that in mind but as momentum build up to the upside in half an hour and half an hour chart then we might uh, be looking to continue to be the opposite, but we are in the RSI entering overbought territory. So corrections, pullbacks uh, could be also on, on, this, on the scene. So to keep that in mind, initially 19,900 uh, could be feasible uh, initially, but let's see what happens from now to then. It's about an hour and a half away from the open. So keep that in mind. So let's, so let's go now and take a look at the S&P 500 on the half an hour chart. So on the half an hour chart, we see, we've seen a strong momentum to the upside on this one bar, RSI speaking into the overbought territory. So we'll, we'll have, we'll get now we just basically 10 points from our resistance, but that's the all time high, 5,720. So again, we will see uh, some of this you no know, pick up up height above our resistance to a throwback and then continue to the upside or will it come towards it and then just lose momentum and then just continue you no know, trading lower those scenarios are there uh, but just for the momentum size I mean anything will happen right but let's see what happens now the Dow the Dow the Dow the Dow for the Dow the uh, all-time high has already been met, been done. I mean, we, knew we have a new all-time high, okay? Um, look, if you go to, 
to a monthly chart, right? This is the month that we are. So we passed that a long time ago, last, you know. So let's go to 30 minutes and identify we are already above it, so we are basically in new territory. 41,900 looks more of a feasible level of resistance where the market could probably come down, comes towards it. RSI is about to be start picking in, in, the, in the overbought territory. So will it come to it? Will the market, will the participants come to, towards that? 41,900 41, and just, you no, know, just pull back uh, from that, okay? So that could be happening also, right? Because again, right now, right now, right now, we're just making new, new all-time highs as, as the market of the day progresses. Let's take a look at the Russell. So for the Russell, it's all-time high somewhere up here. Where is it at? Let me let's go monthly. Uh, there you go. There you go. So we we actually further away from the all time high for the Russell. Like you no, know, we are like what two hundred points in change, two hundred fifty points in change uh, from that all time high. Okay. So let's go back to thirty minutes. And take a look at what we could probably come in and speculate for today. So. Our level of support is way down here. I'm gonna use this low just because that could probably be a nice level of support. And the uh, resistance 22, 2210, we almost are there. So let's just raise it uh, in the next half an hour. Market seems to be fluctuating to the downside. We are in the overbought territory, however. So momentum, momentum uh, can still be around. So, you know, we obviously talk about what will happen towards the uh, interest rates. So that's something that is going to be continuing to happen. In crude oil, we have that $70 marker by the end of the week. So we progressively moving towards that, that level. So that this volume node here is going to be a level of resistance of, of, of interest. Uh, right now, obviously, you see that how the market has fluctuated in this half an hour. Fluctuate above the 50 day moving average and giving it support, and so it's, it's pumping up. This is a 20 day moving average within the uh, bond on your band, so we want to be able to you know, trade above that, close up a close a session above that, I can't talk about that, and continue to move into the upside. RSI is about 50, so that's, that's showing us momentum is picking up, so keep that in mind. So, more in, I'm, I'm going long with crude oil. Not gas, so not gas uh, right now is just trading low. Yesterday had a momentum to the upside strongly, uh, it's a very strong momentum to the upside. It didn't quite come close to my level of support. We actually just rebounded it, did a reversal. So let's just use a 200 day moving average as a possible level of support. Let's raise our level of resistance to right around 236. It is coming down strongly in this half an hour. Uh, sell in this half an hour would be a sell, obviously. Let's see if as the market sells, you know, will it find support on the 50-day moving average and do a reversal and continue moving higher. That could be a, part of a, a possibility. Uh, so keep that in mind. You perhaps already have seen it by the time you see, watch this video. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Then we have gold. So gold. Uh, 2595 that's the marker for gold 2600 obviously uh, is the, the target for by the end of the month so let's see if that will be uh, bringing us that level uh, let's bring our level of support to 2550 okay uh, and uh, yeah it, it had last two hour, last last hour because it's a two, two candles they had a nice reversal to the upside. Right now, the 50-day 50, 50 moving and the 20 are acting at resistances, dynamic resistance level for it. So we'll need a catalyst to push it up above that. And obviously, all of the scenario with, you know, with China, um, with you know, Russia, Middle East, all of the things are still hot, hot, hot. So 
and you know, safe haven, and also the interest rate things. Uh, uh, decision what would happen would it be 25 would it be 50 okay um also you know his daughter uh is gonna be you know, being probably, probably getting hit now if we see a continuation of a daughter index declining we'll see the, the gold moving higher so 2600 it isn't far-fetched uh by the end of the month then we have silver so let's take a look at silver silver all right so this raise our level of support to right below that 30 high psychological number, which is basically with a 1200 moving average is point to, pointing towards. And then the uh, 3140 continue to be on, on the radar. Uh, also, market is fluctuating. Silver is actually right on, on top of the 20 day moving average. So this is, this is uh, actually a pretty good uh, scenario. Uh, let's see if the momentum will spill over uh, into the session, and I think it will. So going long also on the metals per se. All right, so copper just completely annihilated my resistance. So let's just move higher and to this double top right around here uh, for that level of resistance. And then for 20, it is gonna be our level of support. So going, you know, just going with the trend, buying Bitcoin, Okay, so Bitcoin is at about 59,000. Will a 60,000 marker be met today? Let's raise our level of support. And let's just use, use 58,000, nice round number, 58,000. Uh, 20 day is, has crossed over from the 50, you know, showing momentum sign. RSI is not just yet inside the overbought territory. So a continuation to the upside favoring that movement and then we have the currencies 1.115 is the target let's just use our level of of uh, the 200 moving average as a level of support um it is bound it did rebound it off the 20-day moving average so it is moving obtaining a nice momentum to the upside so going along with the trend which is to the upside the pound Pound is pounding away, so let's use one thirty-one seven hundred as support, and then yeah, it's, it's looking nicely. Will it recover and just come in and and revisit that high done already earlier today? So that must that could probably happen, and that could probably happen if the dollar index happens to continue declining. Uh, towards out to 100 marker. I'm gonna bring down my level of resistance to 108.80. So yeah, will we see another leg down in dollar index? If we do, we see a nice move on the upside on the metals and the currencies. Have a nice trading day. See you tomorrow.